Sir Wolfman Hasty. Like and subscribe. What's up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be doing a new sort of kind of thing that we're going to be doing with tutorials and how to build farms or breeders or anything like that. But this is going to be a good one because today we have a farm here that is simple, very easy. It's called the Training Hall Farm. Now, with these guys, you can easily place down your villagers down here. The zombie that's down there will kill him eventually, but sometimes he gets stuck and you can't kill him very easily, but eventually he will. So, if that happens, uh, you could easily fix that. Now, on with the materials. These are the simple materials that you would need. You might at least need a full stack and a half of wood. If you want, you can make one piston or more. You will need one lever to pull down the piston. You'll need redstone dust to connect the, the lever and piston. Your beds will be behind for your villagers so they can use their jobs. The stone slab will make sure that this will cover if you need to change a trade from a villager have this slap right here break your lectern or any kind of workstation like that and put it back down so these guys can have better trades so just an example this one has the sharpest three by the way these villagers when they get killed by a zombie that's down there they'll turn into a zombie villager and the necessary materials you'll need for that is a golden apple and a potion of weakness. I recommend you have a splash potion of weakness. This this other one here, I'm pretty sure you can make it. And when it turns to a zombie, you're gonna have to cure it. Like if it even does turn into a zombie. So think about it. And also by the way, if you want this to make if you want to make this a little bit simple or if you wanna help out with the zombie here, all you need to do is also grab some trapdoors. I recommend you do this and also the zombie should not be burning so what you will be doing you want to make sure that your village uh, your villagers are near this the villager the, zombie, the villager needs to be near the zombie that way the zombie can kill the villager and once that's done You will have a cured zombie villager. The next thing you need to do is grab your splash potion of weakness and cure. Even though some of these villagers will have the same exact traits and potion effect, it's fine. They won't die from it. But whatever the trait was for this villager, it will go down. Alright. Anyways, time to start off with the tutorial. And we'll be complete. The first thing you need to do is make yourself a square, or have like a like a rectangle, and go up by three, and cover this up. The next thing you'll be doing is break this down by two. Make sure you get yourself out. Now, as this simple hole, you need to put two beds down here. A piston facing up and then cover this up using planks or stone or anything like that and then turn it on. Also, we were missing the material, we will also need a torch. If you do want if you do want to do lanterns, you can obviously do that, but I recommend torches as they're much cheaper. And you don't even need to worry about getting iron or anything like that. Or like that, whatever it will cost. The next thing you need to do is make sure that there is a hole right here that a zombie could get to. Because if there isn't a hole 
the zombie will be able to get inside, and that way you can kill the villager. The next thing you'll be doing is putting the villager inside using a minecart. So you would need to put a minecart right here where a villager can get on it, and then you put it inside. Make sure you destroy the rails afterwards, and immediately close this up. And also, close this up using a slab so the villager cannot escape. The next thing you'll be needing is your workstation. You just put it right there. You can also get rid of that if you want, or I recommend you just place it down. And he will say whatever. I'll show you the rest by also extending more of it, and also adding a zombie, too. As you may see, I added more, and now there are multiple villagers working. Now the last step you need is also adding your zombie in. And make sure that you also put your beds behind where the slots are, where the villagers are, in the same exact spot, so they'll have the bed. Like these three. So the way you have to do this, you have to grab an anvil, and make sure you also grab your name tag. I would recommend naming it subject, or zombie, or you can just call it whatever. So we got our name tag, it's called subject. The last thing you need to do is also open this up. So a zombie can also get inside. As you see here, I do have a zombie, so I put the name tag on him. And also, to make him safe, you might as well just put down a roof for him. So he can easily get inside. Because he'll burn. Or I recommend just also giving them a helmet that you do not want anymore. You'll also also be oh, sorry, my grip sucks. You'll be also using rails as it's easier for the zombie to get inside. So make sure you have your rails, your minecart. Put the railing down and get the zombie inside. And then once that's all done, grab your trap doors. Put them like this, so they open like that. Break that, and now the zombie's free. If you want the zombie to also kill the villagers easier, give him a sword. And then whenever there's a villager that you actually like, and want the trace to get lower, all you need to do is flick this button, I mean lever, so that way the piston can go down, like this. The vill the, the zombie will probably try to kill him. But he's gonna go for one villager. So I recommend you flip that first lever. So the, so the zombie can kill it. But sometimes it can't really reach it, which is fine. If you want to, if you want to have more space, by the way, I haven't done this yet, but I recommend that I should probably do it. Um, I would probably have it some more room and make sure that doesn't also die from the sunlight, by the way. So, if you want to do this, I'll show you how to do it then by not letting the zombie burn, and you're gonna have to do something with the pets. The first thing you want to do is grab your blocks that you use for making the walls. And then all you gotta do is just use this. And then what I would do is I probably would do this sort of kind of thing, even though it looks weird, but it's fine with me because I just put it down like this. Here's how we can now roam around. You guys will try to politely push him, but uh, yeah. But no, that is my tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it for getting to 50 subs. And I'm going to start doing tutorials now on because what I did here was simple and easy to do. And I recommend you use it. Sometimes a zombie won't really do what it's supposed to do like you thought it would do. But, but overall, it's better than nothing. Alright, I'll see you very soon, and I'll post some more videos about this very soon.